spearheaded by Lewis Dodgson, Biosyn Genetics ushered in a new era of bioengineering, building a utopia for their dinosaur creations. But in the shadows, Dodgson was devising a more sinister plan. They were engineering prehistoric locusts, capable of destroying any crop or farmland not using Biosyn seeds. Doctors Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant discovered their plans and infiltrated Biosyn's restricted research area. They were able to collect the DNA evidence they needed to prove Biosyn's nefarious intent. Attempting to cover his tracks, Dodgson destroyed the evidence, causing a catastrophe in the valley. He would meet his own demise as a raging inferno tore through the area putting all life at risk. Fortunately, most of the dinosaurs were saved and the fire was contained. The valley, however, remains a scorched landscape in need of healing, with Biosyn's legacy left hanging in the balance. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. With Dotson out of the picture, the future could hold something amazing. Such as? A permanent, viable home for the dinosaurs. I like the sound of that, Owen. We do have the experience to take this on. It's one thing we don't do, it's easy. You can say that again. To really get this right, I think we're gonna need some help. Funny you should mention that. I have just the right people in mind. When I think about everything, what really gets me the most is seeing these animals injured. The buildings, bank accounts, and egos can be rebuilt, but a dinosaur is a walking miracle of evolution and science. They really are a miracle. Born of science and dogged determination. And sadly, a lot of sacrifice, too. And we can't let that be for nothing. Where do we start? We triage the situation. Find the dinosaurs most in need of medical care and treat them first. Agreed. Then we focus on repairing what we can. It looks like the fire damage is minimal in some places. Sounds good. Let's get started. We should get the essential systems back first. Let's start by repairing the hydropower hub. Yes, right. Energy is the first step towards getting us back up and running. Exactly. We sort that out, and we get our core buildings operational again. Claire, I've just received a report about our transport teams. They're grounded for now by the weather. We can't move any dinosaurs captured by the DFW at the moment. Well, that's not good. So, what do we do? Wait for better weather. Why risk anything? You know what happens when we rush something. Eh, yeah, well, I see your point. Owen, 
Remember when you said we're gonna need help? Which time? The time the park fell apart, the time we were chased by my own raptors, the time the volcano went off and we had to run down the hill? Well, <laughs> you rolled, but... I get it. You know what I meant. Anyways, help has arrived. You remember Dr. Sattler and Dr. Grant? After all we've been through, yes. Yes, I do. I just can't believe we're all back here again. How can we help? Right now, we could use some more personnel. Specifically, scientists. I might know one or two hundred. We're gonna need anyone specializing in paleontology or paleobiology. Or paleobotany. We pretty much know them all. You know, it's amazing that a lifetime of studying dinosaurs might just get you noticed, but run from a few and <laughs> you're kind of a rock star. <laughs> Ellie, why are we here? Really, what are we doing? I made a promise to myself I would never, never get mixed up in this business again, and yet... I know, but once you see these magnificent creatures, you really feel the history of this planet, its life, its ecosystem. I wouldn't miss that for the world. I know, but there's always that underlying need to get ready to run. Well, yes, there is that, but can we just take in the good parts for now? Your life's work is living all around us. Yep. Still gets my heart beating. Ah, look at this outcome. Look at these dinosaurs. Don't you wish Ian could be here with us? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> well, we wouldn't let him drive. Now, we've got some debris blocking the dinosaurs. I think if we could open up a path through this part of the facility, the dinosaurs could reach a lot more usable space. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm guessing we could do that by cleaning up this section of scorched earth here. It'll give them a little breathing room, but it won't be easy. Are you ready for a hard day's work? Well, you know me. Ready when you are. There's a good stretch of beautiful land in the valley, untouched and perfect for the dinosaurs. But to get them there, we'll need to move the animals through a lot of fire-damaged forest. Here's the pet Ellie and Alan laid out. Many of the dinosaurs have the instinct to move in herds, in packs. We convince a few, then the others will follow, even the solitary animals. Once they see a large migration, they'll be tempted to tag along and the predators will go where their food does. They always do. Okay, so how about we mobilize our ranger teams to wrangle them through the path? It'll be like a cattle drive, but with vehicles, and the cows weigh eight tons. We've made some great progress to this point, Claire. I completely agree, but we need to keep moving forward. What's next for the dinosaurs? research outposts. We can construct or repair what we need. Great. Let's get on it. <sighs> Remember when we first saw the dinosaurs, Alan? When the promise of Jurassic Park was so alive? Yeah. I was overwhelmed. We all were. And the potential filled me with hope. It was magic. It was, Ellie. It truly was. But like all magic, it was just an illusion. We didn't realize the consequences of bringing them back. Yeah. We may not be able to change the past, but we can learn from it. Really? Like when they failed again with Jurassic World? All that technology. We do not need those elaborate security devices they had. But what we do need is more hands-on conservation. Ranger patrols, for instance, that could 
effectively monitor the animals and their welfare, you know? Correct. Vigilance. Exactly. If we're going to see real improvement in the health of the animals, we'll need a paleo-medical facility. I'll get right on it. The healthier they are, the more content they are going to be.
I've just been looking over the site. If we clear out this burned foliage, I believe we can restore the soil to regenerate the plant life we need. This is your specialty, right, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, oh, and I'm a paleobotanist and a soil scientist. I, I've got to ask, why plants? Don't you think that dinosaurs are more exciting than ferns and ivy? Well, um, I'm in the life-saving business. Our future can be found in the soil. Point taken. I guess it's easier to replant mistakes well i don't make mistakes when it comes to plants the other things that's a different story do you know how many of these plants are poisonous to the dinosaurs about half how do the animals know they're poisonous 65 million years of evolution and probably one dinosaur's mistake way back when ah okay so what do we need to do next time to clear the burn foliage Okay. We need everyone on their toes. Copy that. So when are the dinosaurs from the DFW arriving? Should be any minute by now. Yeah, overall, I'm happy that the enclosures are in good shape. The transport teams are back online. We're ready to go. Good. Because it's about to get busy. These animals need us. And thanks to our efforts, the valley is back. Step one, we need to get all the new dinosaurs into the enclosures. And step two is to not get eaten in the process. Okay, listen up. For the health of the dinosaurs, we need to keep all of the animals from the DFW quarantined away from the others. Because if we're not careful, we run the risk of spreading viral infections, okay? Yeah, like that's never happened before. Asset transportation in progress.
Confirming asset delivery. Asset delivered. Asset in transit. Asset has been delivered. Look at this place. Just look at the transformation. It's astonishing. Makes me remember why I got into all of this in the first place. I still wonder what led me here to this moment. Idealism? It's not a bad thing, Claire. Actually can be a great thing. A great motivator. You're right. So what's left? We need to treat the injuries and diseases of the animals from the DFW. Now that sounds like a job for an idealist. Can't reach it there.
other times, I even amaze myself. Sometimes? As in sometimes, I wonder how I even survived all this. We all wonder that. But let's focus on the facility. Now that it's rebuilt, we need to make sure it can be maintained. What if we monitor the status of the dinosaurs? We keep them disease-free? And then, our work should be done. I wasn't sure we'd ever get this place back under control. Think we could call this a success? As long as the dinosaurs are comfortable? I think so. Then it's time to test the system. Make sure it's stable and viable. Let's keep our dinosaur comfort and visibility ratings high. Make that our top priority. That and... And... not getting eaten. Yep, I know. I know. So, how are we doing, Ellie? That's no Esma Nublar, that's for sure. Well, that's certainly something to be thankful for. I just meant the conditions here at Biosyn are more challenging. The climate, the biodiversity, the lack of natural barriers, it all adds up. You're right. But tell me, has adversity ever stopped you before? No, but it's getting harder with each challenge. We have got to get it right, or this could all fall apart. Well, we certainly don't want that. You will be fine, Lou. You can identify and solve problems like nobody else I have ever met. Really? Really. Flattery, Dr. Grant? No, that's the truth. But... Sure. Well, any trace of Scorched Earth has got to go. The remnants of this location's violent past need to be erased. For good. Then that is precisely what we will do. Together. Even when they're at their most brutal, their most terrifying, the dinosaurs are still beautiful. Dodgson misunderstood the true potential of this place. Dodgson. He was wrong on so many levels. Hopefully this time, we've learned from the past. And the dinosaurs have as well. They know the Earth is theirs and that they belong here. But it should be ours together. Humanity and dinosaurs. Call me an optimist, but I think we can make it work. How so? We all have a choice. And the dinosaurs do too. Coexistence, it can work but only if all of us are prepared to embrace it. I've got to say, Owen, it's hard to argue with that. 